guys, so I'm really sorry if um, this lighting isn't the best, but the actual video, the lighting there is pretty good. I just wanted to let you know that um, this video is going to be about my go-to evening like makeup look that I go and it's if I don't know what kind of makeup I want to do or if I don't have time to think about how I want to do my makeup for the night. This is always my go-to makeup because it matches my blue eyes really well and um, I just don't have to think about like what I'm wearing or where I'm going or anything. I just always know that this makeup is going to look good on like blue eyes and on me like no matter what. Um, on brown eyes and hazel eyes I've never seen it on but honestly I don't see why it wouldn't look great because it's just such a like neutral color and there's only like a couple colors that go into this look it's so easy and quick so if you guys do want to try it out and if you want to keep watch if you want to see how I did it just keep watching thanks guys so step one is priming your eyes I took my Mac pro longwear paint pot and just used my finger and uh, applied that all over my lid and I wanted to start with a lighter colored eyeshadow, so I used my favorite one at the moment. And this is the Urban Decay um, Virgin color. Um, it's very white, except it has the hint of pink to it, but not so much that you would um, really notice it on the eye. It actually just gives it a nice highlighted color. Um, I applied that all over the lid there, and then I went into the Naked Basics palette, and I took Naked too. so that was that kind of... Um, taupey brown color I guess you could say and I took a um, thicker eyeshadow brush and just patted that all over the outer half of my eyelid and then took a blending brush and just blended it so there was no harsh lines at all. Once that's all blended out after a few times of doing it take any concealer you have that's um, a little lighter than your skin color and just put it just underneath your brows. Um, this is going to make your brows stand out and also make your brow bones kind of pop a little more and make them look um, like they're a little bit higher than they um, naturally are. Like They'll just make them stand out really nicely and make your brows stand out really nicely as well after you do them. Um, again, I just took my fingers for this just because um, it's a lot quicker and I'm not going to... Uh, really waste my time right now using any brushes or anything especially because I don't have a concealer brush yet um, I don't know which kind of brush to buy I know there's real techniques brushes and stuff like that but right now I'm just not too sure what um, concealer brush I want to buy So going in with this new MAC eyeshadow I got for my birthday, um, this one's Satin Taupe. I just took that same kind of thicker, um, I call it like padding makeup eyeshadow brush, but it's just because I take it and I pat it into the eyeshadow and then pat it right onto my um, eyelid there. And I'm just going to kind of make a V with my eye, um, or sorry, with my makeup brush there. And then I'm going to take Sugar Walls. This is in um, a, a toothpaste palette. Woo! Too Faced palette I have um, and this just has a bit more sparkle to it so I like to put it over top and I was kind of um, patting them both really hard and then I would um, blend it all out and then pat more on and then blend it all out and I just kept doing that until I was kind of at the darkest um, eyeshadow kind of color on my eyelids that I wanted it but if you don't want it to be as dark as I'm gonna make it then of course you only need to do a little bit and then blend it out once and then you're good to go um, here I was just going over with the virgin color again because sometimes when I do my eyeshadow it really sweeps over to the inner corner whereas which um, sorry which is where I don't want it to be and using my favorite eyeliner this is the Maybelline Master Precise um, eyeliner pen I just did a wing eyeliner um, as I usually do this is um, I know I always like to do a wing rather than just a line across my eyelid when I do my eyeliner um, and right here I got the best footage I've ever gotten of me doing my eyeliner so I wanted to really show you guys um, what it looks like when I'm doing it so what I do is um, I just kind of start either on the outer corner doing that winged line um, as I did today or I'll start in the middle of my eyelid and just work my way out doing a line um, and I'm just going to show you guys the one eye today but yeah I don't really do a very big wing or anything it's just a very basic simple wing but um, honestly this is my favorite pen if you're ever thinking of getting one um, this is the easiest one to do it's only about ten dollars depending where you go I know Walmart it's about eight dollars um, but honestly I love this pen I might never switch unless I get a birthday gift 
or something like that and then I love it but um, this is my favorite eye liner pen so far and then here you can see I'm just actually doing it in my lash line as well I never skip this step when I do eyeliner because um, when you put eyeliner in that lash line oh yeah I'm running out worst day ever but whenever um, you put it in your lash line I uh, sorry guys I was meowing at my cat I don't even know why that's in the video I wish it wasn't but anyways uh, <laughs> Yeah, it just kind of makes your eyes pop and your eyeshadow pop, and um, I really recommend if you're comfortable doing this, just practice, you know, a little bit at a time doing it. Be very slow at the beginning. Here, I'm doing it quite fast. I'm not holding it away from my eye at all. Sometimes I'll poke my eye, but honestly, it doesn't even hurt, and I mean, unless you're really poking your eye, but this is one of the most major little tricks I have when I do my... Um, eyeliner to make my eyes really pop is to put that there then here this is actually um, an eye liner eyeshadow brush I don't know how to explain what it is but it's just a very angled thin eyeliner brush I guess like gelled eyeliner brush and I use it for eyeshadow so I went in with that same satin taupe and I put it all over where I wanted it and a little bit um, further out and this really 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 darkens and strengthens the color of your eyeshadow I really re this one is an elf brush too it's only like four dollars I really recommend everyone having this even if you want to it's good for your eyebrows as well I use the exact same brush except I actually have two so a clean one for my eyeshadow and then one that I use with my dip brow um, and then here I'm using some Revlon eyelashes just to show you guys um, I've never actually put eyelashes on in a video I wanted to show you guys how I do it really quick yeah I cry a little bit just kidding I um, so you put the glue on wait about 30 seconds for the glue to get tacky and then um, I always squeeze my real lashes and my fake lashes together just to uh, get them really tight together this is one of the major steps you don't want to forget or else they do look fake I personally wouldn't recommend getting Revlon lashes get elf ones those ones have been um, pretty nice to me so far um, I've heard our Ardell lashes are also really good so if um, you guys are um, interested in getting falsies don't really get the Revlon ones unless um, you already do know how to use them properly I personally know how to put lashes on and for some reason these ones are just so straight they always pop off the inner corner of my eye and it's just a waste of money because they're you know I think they're actually a dollar or so more than um, Ardell ones and I've heard really good things about Ardell lashes so if anything don't do Revlon unless for some reason you really want to but um, I personally suggest you don't because all day all day all like all day <laughs> I was trying to fix my eyelashes and it was really bothering me. This is just because I'm putting my mascara on now because I forgot before and I could see my um, real eyelashes and then my fake eyelashes which was really bothering me. But um, yeah, I was just trying to fix it up. And then here are eyelash uh, tweezers and I was just squeezing my eyelashes together. These ones are Ardell ones. I think they came with lashes one day. Oh no, my sister got me these ones actually. They're good. I like them. Then I took my uh, Becca Ever Matte um, face primer and I just pressed that right into my skin all over my T-zone and um, I do kind of like my cheekbones as well, or not my cheekbones, but just under there around my jaw bones just because I find I get some breakouts there and if I put um, some primer on then it really helps hold my makeup on those breakouts. Um, and then I went in with this uh, Wake Me Up foundation. Um, by Rimmel and I used my beauty blender and just patted that right into the skin um, don't ever rub when you're using a beauty blender cuz for a couple reasons one you'll get wrinkles if you're tearing at your skin like that and pulling and stuff like that um, and the other reason is because the beauty blender is made to um, when you use the water to dampen your beauty blender you're supposed to take the foundation and press it into your skin with the beauty blender um, because it is a sponge you don't rub or else you're just putting the product on your face and rubbing it right back off so yeah press don't rub and then I'm just highlighting using that concealer I have this one's only a couple dollars at Walmart um, I really do suggest it if you're a beginner or if you just want to um, have any type of concealer in your uh, makeup collection because 
it's only a couple dollars and I haven't really had a problem with it. The only thing is, it's not exactly the best highlighting concealer, but um, it's it doesn't make my uh, anywhere crease or anything like that. And that's why I've been loving it so far. I've actually been liking it better than my L'Oreal concealer lately. And that's why I'm going to be using it every now and then um, before grabbing my L'Oreal. And again, I just use my beauty blender to press that in. Sometimes if I'm wearing makeup like I am now, I'll use my finger and I'll just press it to the inner corner of my eye because my eyes are really sensitive and they water a lot. And I find if I use this kind of wet beauty blender with product and stuff on it, then it will um, it will just make my eyes water and stuff like that. So now going on to my um, CoverGirl face powder. This one I actually have and I use it as a bronzer. Um, it's the shade 150 and um, I use it as a bronzer just because when I use it or to like contour and stuff like that, when I actually use a bronzer to do this stuff, I just because of my skin tone and how pale I am, I, um, I get very orange looking and it's very fake and you can see it in my videos like a lot like you can see like the harsh lines and it's not like a good line it's like a bad like you need to fix your makeup line so I just use that just to contour my face um, and then I use the same product except I use shade 510 to powder my face and to set my um, foundation and everything it's just a very lighter um, shade um, this brush is actually from Sephora. I find that using this brush really gets in where my indents are in my face and everything and you can see kind of uh, the difference I guess it makes, you know, because before I put the darker face powder on, I looked very white and this just makes my face a lot more um, contoured and you can just see um, a good definition in my face. And then I go in with my... Um, MAC blush, what's it called? I forget, and it's my favorite one. Well dressed. This is one of my favorite ones, but um, for right now, I do also like um, it's by Boxum. It's, it's a product you can get at Sephora, but it's called Indulgence, and it's kind of a peachier blush, and I just like that in the summertime a little better. This is the uh, CoverGirl. Um, 510 that I was talking about that's just lighter than the darker one I was using earlier and I just use this to put it all over where my um, where I was highlighting my face with that concealer earlier just to make my um, contour stand out more and then kind of also make my um, uh, blush not so harsh as well here I'm going in with my new Anastasia dip brow in the color blonde and I'm taking that elf um, angled, uh, I don't even know, eyeshadow or pencil brush, whatever it is, and um, I'm just doing my brows. I start at the bottom half of my brow, um, like underneath there, and I draw a line from the middle out, and then I kind of fill in the actual hairs, and then I go from the top out, and then I shape um, just that outer corner right where I'm going right now. It's kind of hard to explain in this short amount of time. Maybe I'll have to do um, an eye brow tutorial, um, but I'm still getting used to it. I do need to get my eyebrows waxed really bad, but uh, yeah, basically this is one of the easiest. If you're ever looking for any type of brow product, I would really suggest using this one because I've been doing quite a few different brow products lately. I've been trying pencils and little um, kind of uh, ones that look like mascaras almost and um, so far this is the best and most natural product I've tried and then right on the inner corner um, I don't put too much I just kind of swipe like a couple times just because you want it to look very natural like right there you can see where I'm pointing um, you just put a little bit on and you don't even go right to the end here I'm putting some more primer on the uh, underneath my eyes because we're going to go in with that satin taupe color and just put it from the outer corner about halfway in. This is going to really make that dark look um, complete and if you don't go all the way in your eyes look very small. Um, then I went with any nude color I have. I actually don't remember what what is this one called. This is by Essence and it's um, honeybee it's called 54 or sorry it's 54 and it's called honeybee and then I went over top with the Jordana lip gloss called lip out loud um, 
and it's shade 107 called FYI. Okay guys, so I'm um, sorry for the background. I know it's not like the nicest background. Um, I just wanted to say that thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked anything about it, um, just give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd love that. Leave a comment below just telling me what your um, video, like what kind of video you're looking for because I'm going to be filming tomorrow and um, a lot next week. So if you could just give me some like suggestions and stuff as to what is kind of like in right now to watch on YouTube, you could just let me know. I know I like to watch um, a lot of just like neutral makeup tutorials because that's the kind of makeup I wear but um, I know that gets really boring for people and uh, yeah just let me know what kind of makeup tutorials or really any video you'd like to see um, just leave that in the comment box below thanks again for watching bye guys